Well, welcome to the Just Jim Radio Show. Uh, we are here uh, to be with you on this beautiful day in life we all have to live. Uh, here at Just Jim, we are here to share inspiration, information to offer concepts and ideas or ways of seeing life or yourself differently and to possibly create an opening for a window of illumination or a doorway to step through to live differently or be differently. And, and certainly to have a little bit of fun at the same time. We do that in different ways by conversations, discussions, interviews. Today we have with us uh, Claudia Zicolo. Um, she's coming t to us from Switzerland today. We're really grateful to have her here. How are you doing today, Claudia? I'm very fine. Thank you very much. And thank you for inviting me to this interview. Oh, love to have you. Love to have you. <laughs> Claudia is a, a medium and a professional dancer, a dance teacher, a master's in dance education. And as I've been speaking about in my shows this week, always from the heart, working from the heart with people, um, looking for that, helping them find that expression. And, and uh, her focus in mediumship is very diverse. And so she's able to parallel her mental mediumship with, in the form of private sitting, seminars, public demonstrations. I've had the wonderful honor of, of experiencing that, to sit with her in circle. It's, it's beautiful to be able to experience that. And as a medium, obviously helping with bereavement and giving guidance from the spiritual world on lifestyle issues, she's uh, very involved in educating mediums and helping people learn how to tap into their own gifts, uh, both in seminars in Switzerland and abroad from there. Uh, different places in the world. So grateful, grateful, grateful to have you here today, Claudia. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, and I, I know you're uh, traveling with and partners with Bill Collar, um, another medium uh, that you two work together and do so much um, work that's so powerful in this area and in the world. Yeah, and it's lots of fun working together <laughs> as well. <laughs> yes, it is. He's yeah. lots of fun, that's for sure. Yes, we have lots of fun. And it's important, especially in these topics, that we do not forget the fun uh, with it, because the theme itself, uh, yeah, it can be heavy. But uh, it's about, yeah, as you said, for me, it's important to touch people in their hearts and to give all this love coming through. So we always look that we have lots of fun as well. And the well, spirits uh, uh, love to have uh, fun, and they love to do jokes and all of this as well. So, yeah. <laughs> well, and, and that, that kind of living that way creates an opening that allows us to be more in touch with who we are and how we are. Uh, part of what we're talking about today is connecting to the spirit world. Uh, there's a workshop that, that uh, you and Bill will be doing at the end of, of November uh, on on Zoom with us at Sarasota Center of Light, connecting to the spirit world, tools and techniques, and, and living from the heart and living open like that allows people to get in touch with their sensitivity and their connection. It, it allows them to feel that differently. Right, exactly. And, you know, we all have it. We're all sensitive. So it's just the way, how how do we open our feelings where is our focus? Where do we let us inspire? Where do we let us be touched? And that's, uh, yeah, something very important for me and also for Bill to open these doors for everybody, that everybody can live with this open heart connection. Uh, yeah, with everybody. I, I like to think of our, our heart um, as the doorway to our soul and our spirit. It's like the corridor that we can walk through of unconditional love. And, and it's also the, the, the vehicle through which our spirit can show up. It's, it's like it's the, the way that we connect with one another, of course, through our hearts. And this is also that unconditional space that we can get in touch with our awareness of that sensitivity and be able to experience it differently. The, um, I the workshop's yeah. called uh, Connecting to the Spirit World Tools and Techniques. Um, those techniques can be really important in 
helping understand that connection and that sensitivity. Absolutely. So I totally agree. And, you know, with the store uh, through your heart, so everybody has the store. But when you can learn with really simple techniques, and that's the, the, the wonderful thing, you know, it's not complicated. Everybody thinks, ah, oh, that must be so complicated. Oh, yeah, mediumship, I cannot do this. This is all... Uh, no, uh, that's not true. So the truth is it's very, very simple because if, you know, people makes it so difficult and makes it so complicated and then they write about 10 books about it and even more. So that's just business. The reality is really very simple tools, but very effective tools. And if you can learn this then you can understand your uh, mediumship you can get this connection for yourself and for others and that's so nice well it certainly starts with connecting with and being aware of your spirit we speak of spirit you know the spirit world of course and Mm -hmm. yet we are an expression of that and and then so as we're let's living from a place of love and we we walk through that doorway and we experience our spirit more fully, that sensitivity that we're talking about and these simple techniques to just be aware of our own spirit, that is the connection that allows us to be able to trust um, what's going on and to allow in what, what spirit might want to share. Yes, and then also with these techniques, when you learn to do contact, Uh, with spirits for other people and you can give very nice very specific evidence which you could not know at all and you get the confirmations from the others then this gives you even more trust in yourself in your feelings in your sensitivity what you see feel or hear well i I think trust is huge i know in my development uh it was about two things, trusting two different things. One was, uh, it seemed as if the first focus was trusting spirit, but yet I found that in my development, it was as important, even more important to first trust myself. It was to the degree that I could trust myself that I could even begin to trust spirit. Mm -hmm. And also with these techniques that we are uh, teaching, Uh, You know, if you understand that the spirit world is intelligent, and I guess everybody does understand that the spirit world is intelligent, so then we can tell them how we can understand something. So if you understand yourself, as you say, that's the key, and then you let them know, hey, look, that's the way I feel, that's the way I sense, that's the way I can... Um, recognize something then they adopt to you because that we would understand how they function or how they can talk to us that's not so easy but if we tell them hey that's the way I can sense that's the way I see feel and hear then they adopt to you and then it's really so cool to have absolute great dialogue with them and that's so much fun Well, I have to tell you that very, very specifically, uh, my interactions with and working with and learning from Bill uh, shifted my mediumship really powerfully, meaning that for exactly what you just described, there was a, a matter of certainly tapping into my sensitivity and certainly trusting in myself to whatever degree and to spirit. And when I began to be more proactively uh, interactive with spirit, so I I had created uh, an understanding and a sensitivity and I was having communication, when I began to recognize who I am and who I am in relationship to spirit and then convey to spirit uh, how I do what I do and how I would want to be able to do that for others uh, in messages and in readings and, and in teaching. It has shifted my experience of, of connecting to, communicating with, listening to spirit uh, dramatically because now yeah. 
it's like an alignment or an attunement where we're on the same page, the same sentence, uh, the same word together. It's like a, an agreement almost that you make as you create this connection and as you're uh, talking about creating a dialogue that they're speaking your language, so to speak, that you can hear it or be able to understand it better for whoever you're giving a message or a reading or teaching with. It's, it's was so powerful for me. And, and I, I experienced that, uh, through Bill, something I'm very, very grateful for. Yes, exactly. That's what, what we teach. And that's uh, so important that the people understand to get in a dialogue. It's a two way street, you know, so you can uh, ask or yeah, give your thoughts out and you get an answer back. And then how can you understand uh, the answer? So that's really, uh, um, yeah, that's very important that the people learn. Um, yeah to understand how to be in a dialogue with the spirits. And this helps, as you said, of course, uh, in working with others in mediumships for messages, for briefment, for um, if they don't know where to go in their lives, but also for your own life. It helps more because me, for myself, when I ask my team, uh, for my life, then oh, I'm a little bit critical. Am I here still <laughs> objective <laughs> or how is this? But when you learn uh, also to work with and for others, then you get so much trust in this and you know when you receive an answer exactly, okay, that's now not me, that's not my fantasy. So also we do teach how can you separate then your fantasy from the dialogue with the Spirits. So there is lots of cool things we learn. Yes, that clarity is always interesting. We, we are able to give so much easier and to do for others so much easier sometimes than we are for ourselves. And to be able to uh, hear and be sure what you're experiencing in that way, we, we would have a very um, quiet show if only one of us were listening and, and we weren't talking to one another or people on the phone wouldn't have much of a conversation if they didn't speak back and forth to one another. It sounds simple, but we don't think about it when we're thinking about listening to spirit for guidance or for information or for messages. It is a two-way thing. I, I, I love constantly uh, thank you and, 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 and having that connection. It, it, it creates what I call uh, spiritual intimacy. And mm -hmm. it, it has us have a closer relationship with um, uh, it's, it's as if, you know, we're, we're just listening all the time and not, they're not sharing with them. Uh, they want to hear from us, too. So, yep, exactly. It's a two a two way street. So that's really that's really cool. And uh, also uh, for your own guidance, you know, many times you're inspired. Oh, I have this idea or, oh, I want to do this. Is it always really you or have you been touched by the spirits and got from them a good idea or, um, yeah, a little help or something? And if you know how it feels when they give you a hint, a tip or a picture or something, then, uh, yeah, it's so cool to live with this, really, that you can live your mediumship not only, um, yeah, for your clients or for the teaching, but also for yourself. So I can recommend it to everybody. It's so great. I really love uh, my life now because I'm, yeah, and I also, I feel, I, I my life is more, it has more fulfillment in it. It's more complete uh, with all of these connections. 